In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make three of my favorite graphs for speed ramping in DaVinci Resolve. The first graph. Open your clip in the Fusion page. Make sure you are in the first frame and hit Shift plus Space to open up Tool Selection View. Search for Time Stretcher. Go forward to the point where you want the speed ramp to end and make a keyframe for source time. Check which number is the last one on the timeline. That means the max source time I can choose is 155. Now the whole movement of the clip is between the keyframes. Click on Spline and make sure Time Stretcher is selected. Highlight both of the points and hit S on your keyboard to smooth it out. Drag on these points and copy the look of my graph. Go to the last keyframe and open editing window. Press Command plus B to make a cut and delete the excess. The second graph. Once again, add time stretcher. Go forward and make a keyframe for source time, but don't change the value. Keep it at zero. Go in between the keyframes and raise the value to the maximum allowed. For me, it's 210. Open spline window and highlight the points. Smooth out the graph by pressing S. Copy the look of mine. You can drag the middle point down if you feel like it's too fast. Go to the last keyframe and open editing window and delete the excess. The third graph. Add time stretcher to the first frame. Go forward and make a keyframe for source time. Bring up the value as much as you want. Go few frames backwards and make a keyframe. If you want, you can also lower the value a little. If you went 10 frames backwards, now go 10 frames forward from the keyframe and reduce the value. You should end up with something like this. Smooth out the graph. Copy the look of mine. Go to the last keyframe and open editing window and delete the excess. That's basically it.